Hey, guess what? We're back bombing uh, Siri again. <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. As as we are are pretending that what Putin did in Ukraine is worse than what we did in Syria, Libya, Iran, Afghanistan, Somalia, Yemen, Ethiopia, the Sudan. As we we're, as we are doing that in all those other countries, we're still pretending that Russia is uniquely bad for what they're doing in Ukraine. Um. The U.S. military said earlier Wednesday it carried out airstrikes in eastern Syria that targeted areas used by militias backed by Iran's paramil paramilitary revolutionary guard. So this sounds like they're doing some proxy thing with Iran. This has nothing. Uh, this, that's what it's out. Who knows? Opposition War Monitor, the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights and Activist Collective Dear Azaz 24, said the airstrikes targeted the Ayash camp run by the Fatimiyan group made up of Shiite fighters from Afghanistan. The war monitored, the war monitor reported that at least six Syrian and foreign militants were killed in the airstrikes. The U.S. Military Central Command said the strikes took proportionate deliberate action intended to limit the risk of escalation and minimize the risk of casualties. It did not identify the targets nor offer any casualty figures from the strikes, which the military said came at the order of President Joe Biden. So why is a president allowed to just bomb another country? Because they're pretending they're fighting terrorism, even though the United States is the terrorists in Syria. We're the terrorists. We're the terrorists in Iraq. We're the terrorists in Libya. We're the terrorists in Afghanistan. We're the terrorists in Somalia. We're the terrorists in Yemen. We're the terrorists. Today's strikes were necessary to protect and defend U.S. personnel. Who said that? Central Command spokesman Colonel Joe Buccino. He said that. The colonel added the attack was in response to an August 15th attack targeting U.S. forces. The attack saw drones allegedly launched by Iranian-backed militias target the al Tanf garrison used by American forces. U.S. Central Command described the assault as causing zero casualties and no damage at the time. So they're saying, to justify the United States bombing Syria, they're saying that Iran bombed us first in Syria, even though there were no casualties and no damages. They're saying Iran bombed us in Syria. There were no casualties, no damage. <laughs> but they wanted to bomb back. That's what that's 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 the official story. This is the official story. Sounds crazy and stupid. The official story sounds corrupt. Deir Ezzor is a strategic province that borders Iraq and contains oil fields. You're kidding. You're kidding. Wait a minute. It, that's where the oil fields are? Uh, we're keeping the oil. We have the oil. The oil is secure. Uh, we left troops behind only for the oil. <laughs> Obviously, the United States can't leave Syria because then how would it fight the people who attack the U.S. soldiers who are in Syria? So we're now bombing people in Syria. We're bombing Syrians in Syria. For attacking United States military in Syria. Why are they in Syria? We got to leave them there. Because why? Because we're stealing their uh, we're oil. We're keeping the oil. We have the oil. The oil is secure. So we're, we're stealing someone else's natural resources, which is what every oil, a war is about. And uh, somehow we're the victim. <laughs> somehow we're the victim. So let's go back to the story. Uh, alleged Israeli airstrikes target sites near uh, Masyaf in Syria. So Israel's been bombing the shit out of Syria, Syria also, along with the United States. Looks like a serious escalation in Syria. U.S. airstrikes on Tuesday night provoked rocket attacks on U.S. bases. On Wednesday... U.S. airstrikes on Tuesday night provoked rocket attacks on U.S. bases on Wednesday that wounded several U.S. troops. The United States responded by launching strikes from Apache helicopters that reportedly killed several people. So that's the United States ramping up war. And that's just from 
antiwar.com. So where are the sanctions for the United States for doing this? And when did the U.S. oligarchs have their property confiscated? Then when is the discussion on visa bans for U.S. Uh, entering the United... When is that happening? So they're pointing out all the shit we did to Russia for when they invaded Ukraine. Why doesn't anybody do that to the United States? We invaded Syria. We're occupying Syria. So that's a good point. U.S. claims to be in Syria to fight ISIS. That's what they claim, even though Trump told you the truth. The truth is they're there for the oil. But they claim they're there to fight terrorism. But it rarely fights terrorism or ISIS. It's actually there to deny Syria its own oil and wheat and to occasionally attack Syrians and their allies who defeated U.S.-backed sectarian death squads in a dirty war. They say we're fighting ISIS. You know, we funded ISIS, right? Just so you know. Just so you know, we funded. Uh, Trolls have a hard time processing words when they come from me. This is Aaron Mate talking. He says, so here's a senior Biden official, Dana Struhl. She's explaining, this is from 2019, what the U.S. policy in Syria remains. Here's what she says. The United States still had compelling forms of leverage on the table to shape an outcome that was more conducive and protective of U.S. interests. And we identified four. So the first one was the one-third of Syrian territory that was owned via the U.S. military with its local partner, the Syrian Democratic Forces. Now, One-third of Syrian land that was owned by U.S. military. <laughs> It was a light footprint on the U.S. military, only about a thousand troops over the course of the Syria Study Group's report. And then the tens of thousands of, of forces, both Kurdish and Arab, under the Syrian Democratic Forces. And that one third of Syria is the resource rich. It's the economic powerhouse of Syria. So, so that's the third we're occupying. I was wondering, which third of Syria are we occupying? The resource rich area of Syria. Uh, so there we go. Now, let's just remember, uh, we're keeping this is why they don't like Trump. Why does the establishment and why did the FBI and the CIA try so hard to take down Trump? Because he acts, not because he governed any differently than the Democrats or the rather Republicans, but because he accidentally would say stuff like this. Uh, we're keeping the oil. We have the oil. The oil is secure. Uh, we left troops behind only for the oil. <laughs> And they can't have him say that. You understand why that's a bad look for imperialism? So congratulations, Joe Biden. Bigger warmonger than Donald Trump. Congrats, you guys. You did it. You pulled you, you pulled it off. By the way, Joe Biden finishing his border wall. <laughs> you did it. More kids in cages than under him. You did it. Bigger bigger military budget under uh, Biden than it. You did it. We did it. We got rid of them. Hey, we're coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Detroit, Los Angeles, Spokane, Tacoma, Denver. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all our tickets for all our live shows. See you there. Mm -hmm.